Biblical Sexual Purity Teaching Godly Sexuality Hello and welcome. Welcome to Biblical Sexual Purity, a moment of teaching Godly Sexuality. My name is Hosanna David. What we are going to be looking at today is what is sex? What is sex? For instance, as a Christian parent, a child, your child walks up to you and asks you, Mommy, Daddy, what is sex? I believe there will be a kind of shocking reaction for the average parent. But if it happens, what will be your answer to the child? This is a topic that many Christians don't want to talk about. Even our churches today have become too holy to address sexual issues. But the Bible is not isolating. This is a topic that many Christians today don't want to address. The Bible did not isolate this issue. We have to go back to the Word of God. Okay, what is sex? Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 says that therefore shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and they too shall be one flesh. This is also what Jesus taught his disciples in Mark chapter 10, Mark chapter 10 beginning the reading from verse 5 to 9, Jesus addressed the issue of marriage there. Let me just read a few verses. Oh, Mark chapter 10 verse 5 following, and Jesus says, and they said to and said unto them, For the hardness of your heart, it wrote you this precept, but from the beginning of the creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So then they are no more twain, but one flesh. What therefore God had joined, God had joined together, let no man put asunder. God joined the man and the woman together. That means God ordained sex. He ordained marriage. And sex is a part of marriage. Okay, what is sex? Sex is a bodily union between a man and a woman that are legally married. Sex is the process through which the man and the woman in marriage raise people after their own kind. People who are in the image of God and after created after the likeness of God. That is what sex is. But today, sex has been perverted. Jesus said in the beginning, God created them male and female, and God joined them together. And for the reason that God has joined them together, nobody should put asunder. That means the marriage should be left the way God ordained it. Marriage is between a man and a woman, not between a woman and a woman, and not between a man and a man, according to the Bible. So if you are a Christian, we have to have this understanding that sex should be between a man and a woman that are, have been joined together, have been joined together by God, not joined together on the streets, not joined together in the club. So if you are a Christian and you are having sex, you shouldn't do that outside marriage if you are doing that as a marriage or you are doing that between uh you are a man and you're a woman and you are having sex outside your marriage you are not actually having sex but you are committing sexual immorality because the sex that god created for the man and the woman sex is holy sex is for reproduction it is for pleasure, it is for comfort, it is for the satisfaction, it is for satisfaction of the man and the woman in marriage, satisfying their emotions and for fulfillment. But if you are doing it on the street, if you are doing it with people you are not married to, you are committing sexual immorality and it is wrong. And sex should be honored, it is honorable unto all. The marriage bed should be undefiled. That means sex is holy, so we should treat it as such. If you have not subscribed, please try and subscribe to my YouTube channel, BS Purity TV. And also subscribe to my personal channel, Hosanna E. E. Devi. And also visit our website, www.biblicalsexualpurity.com and sign up. It's a community website. It's a place where we rub minds together. And some of the things that the Lord has shown me, revealed to me, I mean, divine revelations, I also prove that you can go and let us make the world a better place. Thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye.